let's start with a big statement. Welcome to our 100th video on this channel. Not only is it our 100th video, but it's also our two year business anniversary too. So we thought we'd do a different type of video this week. Instead of focusing on a contract or a function of quantity surveying, we wanted to focus on you guys. Over the last week, we've reached out on our social media and requested questions from yourselves. We've picked six of these questions, and in this video, we hope to answer them. Hopefully, this will be the first of many Q&As. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section, and we'll cover them next time. But before we start, if you could give us a wonderful second year birthday present and subscribe to our channel, it would really mean a lot to us. Liking this video also shows us, and the YouTube algorithm, that this is content you like. So we'll do more of it. Okay, let's dive into these questions. What is the end point for a quantity surveying career? Now, this answer will be different depending on the goals you have in your career. The peak of a quantity surveying career would be as a commercial director. You'll be managing hundreds of commercial staff, implementing changes, and signing off big contracts. But this might not be for everyone. You might settle at senior QS level, as you're comfortable with the salary, and you'd not like any of the stresses as a commercial manager or director. Which would you recommend doing? An apprenticeship or university? This is once again down to your preference, but we'll give you some details to aid your choice. All three of the directors here at Matron undertook the apprenticeship route. This was great as our education was paid for by our companies and we gained valuable work experience, but it came at a price. We were working 45 hours a week, having one day a week attending lectures and spending all our evenings writing reports and revising for exams. If you can sacrifice your social and family life for the five years of the part-time education, the cost savings and the experience gained will be vast, but it will be stressful. If you prefer to focus on your studies first and then get into your commercial career, undertaking a university degree will be advisable. The degree will take three years instead of five and you can focus solely on your studies. This will come at a hefty monetary cost and a reduction in QS experience. On a scale of 1 to 10, how important is having experienced whilst in university? Do you think experience outweighs your degree? And to what extent? This leads on very nicely from the last question. Remember, you're in uni for that piece of paper. So once you have it, no one can take it away from you. But experience is also something that somebody can't take away from you. And some would say is actually more valuable. From our experience, if you're studying quantity surveying in university, a year in industry placement can be extremely rewarding, not only for personal experience, but for future opportunities. If you perform well during this year, it will be extremely likely that the firm will offer you a job after completing your studies. In relation to the second part of the question, do you think experience outweighs your degree and to what extent? Eventually, yes, it will outweigh your degree, but in today's industry, that degree is vital. Once you have the degree, the experience will land you your future opportunities. How much does a freshly chartered QS make in the UK? According to Ricks, members in the UK earn on average £16,000 more each year than non-members, so depending on your position, this should be your guide. Is the current demand for quantity surveyors enough? If the answer is yes, what about the future? The demand for quantity surveyors is there. It's still very much a worker's market. We have seen salaries reach as high as £70,000 at a quantity surveyor level and over 90000 for senior QSs. It also doesn't seem to be slowing down, which is great for our profession. The information we are providing here is based on research from the UK. Other countries may be experiencing different job climates. And the final question, as a graduate QS, what are the main duties I should concentrate on in my first year of work? As a graduate, you should have a supportive team around you. Learning the system your company uses and the way they use them should be the first port of call for any job, whether that's quantity surveying, healthcare, or working in a zoo. Once you understand what is expected, then you can look at the principles of quantity surveying. What contract does my company use? What type of variation process should I research? And how do I forecast accurately? All this will come in time, and if you're watching our video, you'll definitely have a head start on a lot of graduates. If you want more videos like this, please do tell us. We can make these videos as frequent or non-frequent as you like, so 
If you do have any burning questions, we'll do our best to help. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.